Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I'm going to talk about three commands, Fillet, Chamfer and Blend. So let's start with the Fillet command first. The Fillet command is on the Modify panel. If you click on the Fillet command and hover over your cursor, the icons actually tells you what these commands do. So I hover over my cursor to Fillet command. What it does is rounds and fillet the edge of the object. Let's see the Chamfer command. It basically applies a beveled and edge of object. Blend command create a tangent or smooth spline between endpoints of two open curved objects. So let's select fillet command. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can apply a radius because fillet command can make an arc as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select this radius and I can actually specify values by typing but I can even click on a screen and specify my radius. So I'm going to go ahead and click two points. I'll click here and then the second one would be about here. And now, if I select this first line and I hover over my cursor to the second line, the preview window shows that what's gonna happen. So what it's doing is basically, it's making an arc with that radius we just selected on the screen by giving it two points. So I select this and now we've got an arc. Okay, so now let's have a look at the fillet command one more time, but this time I'm gonna delete the radius back to zero. So I click on the radius and I press zero, enter, and now our radius is zero. So now I select this line and hover over your cursor to the next line. So what it's going to do, it's basically going to trim away on the top of the object. So I click here and now fillet command has been applied and those two objects, you know, the two lines were there, were trimmed away. Okay, so let's have a look one more time of fillet command and I'll tell you about selecting the object while using fillet command. So I go and select on a fillet command. And now let's say if I select this line and I hover over my cursor to this line, what this command is going to do, it's going to trim away the bottom of two lines. And if I take my cursor over here, so it's going to trim away on the right side. So it's very important the way you select the object, that's how you're going to work. So always try to select the object first, what you want to keep. So I click here and these two lines are trimmed away. So that's it for fillet command. Let's have a look at the chamfer command now. So I'll click on this arrow button and select chamfer command. And now chamfer command basically work with two distance. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a distance. So I go and click on a distance on my command line. I click distance and now it's gonna ask me to specify first a chamfer distance. If the chamfer distance is equally applied on a boat chamfered so what's going to happen it's going to create a straight beveled line so i'll go and maybe click here and then click about here that would be our distance and the second one would be the same if i space uh, if i press spacebar so you can apply the second distance as well but i'm going to go and show you with the equal distance so i go and select um, that distance by pressing spacebar and now i select this line and a second line so as you can see, the distance we applied before, what's going to do, it's going to apply a beveled chamfer. So I click here, and that's done. Let's have a look at chamfer command one more time. Okay, so I go ahead and select the chamfer command, and this time a distance is going to be a bit larger. Let's say I will apply a distance about that. So the distance is pretty large. So what if I space spacebar and click on the top of the line, not the bottom, because the bottom one will actually take the distance because it's not that large. So if I click on this line and I hover my cursor to the next one, you see the round circle come up. Basically, it means that it's impossible because distance is too large. So I go ahead and click on the distance one more time and I select the two small points about there and this our space bar and how are your cursor so see what's going to happen is it's going to apply the chamfer now so the chamfer distance matters if it's larger than expected and if it's larger than what your object can take it will work if not then you make you may, you need to make sure that you apply a proper distance you can apply an angle and a method as well so let's say i want to chamfer this line i click on this object and those other right side object will be trimmed away now let's have a look at the bevel command. So I click on the bevel curve. What it does is basically give you a spline between two objects. So you don't have to specify any values here. So you select 
first line and then second line and I'm going to zoom in by scrolling up my mouse wheel and I select this line as you can see it's basically a spline with these vertex you can actually edit them as well so I go and hover over my cursor and I can actually add vertex I can refine vertex I can remove vertex I can even stretch so I can select stretch so as you can see if I move my cursor I can stretch this I can select this vertex and add vertex as well so as you can see the vertex has been added as well I can even change this to a line I go hover over this part and I can change it to a line hover over this one and then maybe add another vertex so you can actually keep going there you have it guys um, these three commands are very useful when you draw a 2d drawing so get your hands on them you will get better by the time and Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.